Good day everyone, uh, my name is Mr. Emmanuel and today we are going to talk about um, the shingle stone coated roof and shade. Today with me we have our usual roofer in the game. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people. I'm Mr. Donald Ruche of Godfrey Nigeria Limited. Okay, beautiful. So today is a lovely day and today we are going to talk about the shingle stone coated design. Um, if you go up to our timeline, you're going to see we talked about the bond, we talked about the classic and today we are going to be talking about the shingle, S-H-I-N-G-L-E, stone coated roofing sheet. That's another type of the five types we mentioned earlier. So without wasting much of your time, let us get straight to the point. Okay, first of all, like I told you, my name is Donald Richard, we're here to talk about shingle. Okay. Now the big question here is, what is shingle? Okay. A lot of people hear a lot of roofing names, bonds, packages, whatever, whatever, whatever. What is shingle? Now, whenever you hear this question, the first picture you should have in your mind is what you're seeing right here. Okay. This is shingle stone coated roofing sheet. It's a very lovely kind of roofing sheet, very, aff very affordable, depending on how your pocket is. And very, very cool. Now, we have various colors of shingle, but one thing you have to have in mind is any roof tie that is flat in a draft like manner, like a draft, it is flat generally, and in a draft like manner, like this, it's called shingle. Irrespective of the design it can come from, it could be black and white, red and black, brown and black, like what we have over here is black and white and plain black. Shingle is a stone coated roofing sheet that is flat in nature and drafted in structure. That is what is shingle. Now let's go over to the next question. Why shingle? It's a very simple question. Why shingle? What it means in essence is that why do we prefer shingle to any other stone coated roofing design? Now let me go straight to the point. Shingle is a very attractive roof type that is flashy. I repeat, that is flashy. Why is it flashy? Most times it comes in, in combination of multiple colors. A lot of people are fans to a lot of colors, like combination of red and stuff, 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 stuff. You want, if people come to your building, they look up and they see your building is looking very lovely. Shingle is a roofing sheet. You want something that attracts a lot of attention. You're the kind of person that wants people to always notice you. Shingle is the roofing sheet. You want something that is not so expensive, at the same time not cheap, like the other roof designs. Shingle is the question. Shingle is the roof type. Shingle is a very, very lovely roof type. It is attractive and some other people call it big boy's roof. Because people that buy shingle are ready to buy shingle. If it is not shingle, it cannot be shingle. So when you look at this picture, what do you see? Flat nature, boxed structure. Black and white, more flashy. Oh, let me check it. Black and white, more flashy. Plain black. I want to be flashy, but I don't want to be too flashy. You go for this kind of shingle. I want to be flashy, and I want to be very, very flashy. You go for this kind of shingle. So the reason why we choose, or people choose, this shingle over any other stone coated roofing sheet because it has some touch of glass and it is flashy and attractive. Now let's go back to the next question. Okay, so uh, the next well, thing we are going to be talking of uh, the country of origin. So a lot of our customers usually ask us um, where is your roofing materials coming from and we've talked about that in other videos too, the bond and the classic. So it still remains the same answer. Dutrich Nigeria Limited deals on New Zealand roofing sheets, New Zealand stone coated roofing sheet. That is where we import from because New Zealand is the accepted standard by engineers, architects and most people in construction. So all our roof tiles are New Zealand certified. And then the next thing we are going to be talking about is the benefits you get from getting shingle. Every roofing design on its own, they have their own benefits. Okay, so the first benefit we are going to be talking about is looking at these shingles. We do not have only these two designs. Anyway, it, it shingles come in about five designs, right? But we are using these two because this is what's mostly demanded. So it usually looks it usually looks flashy because uh, when you look at these flash shingles, it actually looks like some of the things that you see on TV and uh, <clears throat> foreign countries. Most the, the shingles originated from you know foreign countries and um, it's not usually that common like the bond and the classic so it does look flashy in a way and then um, the next one we're talking about is if you notice it looks flat 
so it doesn't wobble that easily because of its nature and because it's flat water would run off easier now that doesn't mean water wouldn't run off on other roofs but because of this flat nature it just runs off easier now the third thing we're going to be looking at is like i said it is not so common if you're the kind of client who wants to use the roof that you don't usually see on people's roof you want something that okay i need someone to look at this and say where did i get it what kind of roof is this then you can go for the shingle too and like mr donald said it is not that expensive and at the same time it is not it doesn't fall in the least category of price so this gives you a lot for your money now the fourth one we're going to talk about is ease to install now the installers of this roof will always tell you that they love installing the shingles now that doesn't mean they are not pros in installing other roof tiles they can do that but when it comes to shingle if you use this roof on your roof if uh, a regular roof would take about three days to install this might probably take two days because it's easier for them to install it's faster because of the flat nature okay so you get quick installation when you go for the shingle as compared to other um, designs and then the last but not the least is it is mostly associated with class so when you see some of these uh, federal buildings and institutions they always go for the shingles most of the times yes they use other materials too but they do use the shingles most of the times so again it is associated with class and there are other classical rules but they might be expensive than this and we're going to get to that so uh, the fifth one will be um, the back color and I'll leave Mr. Donald to talk about that okay when it comes to the back color Look at the back, like if you have been following our videos, you discover that we made mention of um, the color that the back of the roof tile is supposed to have. Yes, if you look right here, you see that the back of the roof tile is greenish in nature. This is called green back roof tile. And if you can remember very well, I told you that green back roof tile is green because of it is difficult to run. It is green because it is difficult to run. So if you're going for a roof tile and the back is not green, it's silver like. My dear, I would advise you. Because I have a lot of experience in this business to stay away from that roof tile. Go for a roof tile that has a greenish part because it is very difficult to rust. Now let's talk about the warranty. I will leave Mr. Donor. Okay, so we switch this back to the front so you can still have the view of the shingle. Now for the warranty, another question we get from you guys who are very special to us is what is the warranty you are given do you know that some customers who buy do not even know that their warranties are given for this and what does the warranty cover it covers that your roof wouldn't fade within the 50 year period i'm sure you've seen a lot of uh, roof tiles on people's building that look like a white color it like like the roof color is actually white now that's not it that that was a wrong roof that's a bad roof and i guarantee you 90 percent of the time that roof wasn't actually sold with warranty it was probably bought from a non-registered company or probably my friend is into this and then you just pay so we give 50 years on our warranty that covers fading that covers rust our roof tiles does not rust just like mr donald talked about the color the result of that color is as a result of the chemical treatment that we had to do in order to prevent rusting so our warranty in fact anybody selling stone coated roofing who knows what it's doing should give you 50 years limited manufacturer's warranty i repeat 50 years manufacturer's warranty also comes with the shingle as well as the bond and classic we talked about okay now there's a big question a lot of people don't know a lot of people usually ask their engineers and most times they don't give them the right answer the question is how many pieces make a square meter how many pieces make a square meter now if you look at this roof tile most times most times two pieces of this roof tile makes a square meter so if your house is actually 400 square meters when the material gets to site what you should be expecting if counted sheet by sheet should be 800 pieces if you buy one square meter what yes. you should be expecting on site is two pieces if you buy 10 square meter what you should be expecting on site is 20 pieces so if anybody tells you that eh, i bought 400 square meters and what they supplied me is 700 pieces it's a lie it's a lie the least you can get is times two of that figure that you paid for so i will leave mr emmanuel to talk about the thickness okay so the next quality we are going to be talking about about shingle tiles just like any other roof tiles is the thickness so again once again people will ask you what's your gauge sometimes they say gauge sometimes they say what type do you so sometimes they say what's the thickness whatever they mean they just mean how thick is the pan on which these stones rest on top so the whole of this is not just stones it con contains a pan and then stones on it so what is the thickness of the pan that is what what uh, most people want to know 
and what we deal on like we said in the classic video right also yeah. is 0 0.55 i said then i didn't have my vernier caliper i had to get it so i could show you guys that this is actually 0 0.5 um, mm thickness I, I also upload a video about that i did a special video about that but for sake of this i'm going to show you the thickness of our shingle and any other tile so first of all you have to look for a place it is difficult for us to get um, a pan here because our stones cover every single place but for 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 this video i have tried as much as possible to get some place and uh, mr donald will help me bring the camera closer okay so we can get what we are looking for hang on so so when you take the thickness can they see clearly yeah, I think. Can, uh, if you look at the picture, you'll be seeing 0 0.5. That okay. is 0 0.5 over there. 0 0.5 and mm is at the top right. Yes, mm is at the top so right. So that is the thickness of our roof tile. Let us, let us take the thickness of the other one so they can see it as well. So it doesn't look like maybe it is just the black and white, okay? So first of all, you have to look for a place where you get only the pan. And I think I've got this. Okay, please okay. come closer. Now yes, this is the black. It's very clear. There's zero point. And at the top right is the mm. Zero point five mm. And this is the black. The last one was the black and white. Yes. You can keep the camera back, sir. So once again, that is for the shingle. And um, for sake of time, we'll probably be rounding off this. So uh, okay, you can help all this. So there are lots and lots of things that you would also want to know about stone coated roof tiles. But we, we just can't, um, we can't talk about every single thing we do want to talk about. So uh, we're going to stop here for the sake of this video. But you, you already know the basics. We've talked about the basics. We've talked about the thickness, the country, um, the how many meters square meter. So if you need any other answers regards to any question that we have not covered in this video, please and please, I beg of you, do give us a call on the numbers on the screen you're going to be seeing numbers on the screen you can call it in the description there are numbers or email reach us anyway at any time i believe mr donald they can call you at any of time of course you can call us at any time of the day any time of the day yeah. anytime it's comfortable for you and we're going to reach you so once again i still remain mr emmanuel of dotrich nigeria limited dealers on quality stone coated roof tiles and beside me is mr, mr. donald uche of dotrich nigeria limited do have a sweet home god bless you thank you Thank you viewers for watching this episode of uh, Don't Treat Nigeria Limited Stone Code Everything videos and tutorials. We derive joy in letting you know so you don't get, uh, you know, used, cheated or, you know, get fake products. That is that is our goal. Our goal is not just to sell you quality Stone Code Everything. The goal is also to teach you how to understand this thing. What is this? What is that? Why is this that? And why is that this? With that, you can feel safe when we get to Stone Code Everything. So if you want more of this knowledge about stone coated construction related things, especially in roofing, click the like button, click the subscribe button. That way, when we upload a new video, you will be notified. You don't have to always come on YouTube and search. So click the subscribe button. The subscribe button is the red the button, red uh, in the red text. You click the subscribe, then you click the bell icon to subscribe for all notifications. And when next we upload, you're gonna see, you're gonna get a notification, and you can come watch the video. Thank you once again.